Uh, I will call this meeting of the Hillsborough School District Board of Directors 1J to order. We'll begin our regular session as we always do with the flag salute. Uh, most of us do not have a flag available, uh, so we are going to put one on the screen. You can unmute and join me or just follow along at home. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, how am I going to have this particular screen? All right. Um, I'd like to take a moment to is on the occupied traditional homelands of the Atfali indigenous people, lands we now call Washington County and the state of Oregon. We honor the indigenous people whose traditional and ancestral homelands we stand on, the Tualatin Kalapuya, the Kathlamet, Clackamas, Tumwater, Malala, bands of the Chinook and many other indigenous nations of the Columbia River. And remembering these communities, we honor the legacy, their lives, their ancestors. We also recognize the urban indigenous native first peoples communities living in the metro area, which includes over 400 tribal nations. The Hillsborough School District is committed to the recognition and education regarding tribal and local history and working with our local tribes in partnership. Okay, we have one agenda item today. Uh, would somebody like to make a motion to approve the agenda? I move that we approve the agenda as printed. Second. It's been moved by me and seconded by Director Ward that we approve the agenda as printed. Is there any further discussion? Is there any opposition to the motion? The motion carries. Uh, as we all know, we have discussed this in an executive session. So um, we will be making a motion and taking action today on a single action item. Um, we will not be discussing it as it's a personnel HR issue. Um, we have in discussions or you know conversations or with our district legal counsel, Brian Hungerford, I think the easiest way is for me to make the motion in the affirmative. Um, so what you'll hear is me make a motion in the affirmative, a vote yes means that you would like to have a hearing at the board level regarding this um, complaint. A vote no would mean that you accept the findings of the outside independent counsel and it would conclude um, the board's action on this matter. So I'm going to make the motion in the affirmative. A yes vote means you would like to hear this complaint at the board level. A no vote means that you feel the um, outside investigation was complete and we will not be hearing at the board level. I move that the board of directors accept to hear the step four complaint filed by Gloria Campos. Second. It has been moved by me and seconded by director Ward that the board here, except to hear filed by Gloria Campos. Rose, can you please call the roll, please? She and Kim. Opposed. Patrick McGuire. No. Monique Ward. Opposed. Nancy Thomas. No. Mark Watson. Uh, I guess I can't really abstain. Uh, I'll say yes. One vote yes to hear it. Um, the motion fails. Uh, the board will not be moving forward with this complaint. Thank you all for your time. We uh, have set aside time on the agenda for superintendent's time. Mike, do you have anything you would like to say? Oh, Brian Hungerford, you have a hand raised. District legal counsel. I would recommend considering the failure of that motion that we have the board action to that it, somebody make a motion to not hear it. In, in other words, I would be more comfortable with the board taking action 
to not hear it rather than simply failing to take action to hear it, if that makes sense. Oh, really? Okay, I thought we talked. All right. Ah, okay. I move that the board of directors decline to hear the step four complaint filed by Gloria Campos. But I think because the board just voted, I think we had to do something with the vote we just did. No, nope, that motion did not did not pass. It's already done. I declared it failed. So that, the action on that motion is complete. We now have a new motion on the table looking for a second or not. Second. It's been moved by me and seconded by Director Kim that the board directors declined to hear the step for your compost. As mentioned, we've discussed this in executive session. There'll be no discussion on this issue. So a no, a yes vote means a yes vote means you are declining to hear the complaint and you believe that the investigation is complete with the outside counsel's investigation. A no vote means you wish to hear the complaint, I think. <laughs> Rose, can you please call the roll? She and Kim. Yes. Patrick McGuire. Yes. Monique Ward. Yes. Nancy Thomas. Yes. Mark Watson. Yes. The motion carries unanimously. The board will has declined to hear the step four complaint filed by Gloria Campos. Brian, are you? A, do you feel like we've taken the appropriate action, or we, that we've taken action? <laughs> that ends the, the yes. I believe that you've taken action on the question before you, which was whether or not the board's going to hear the appeal. So I think you have taken. Right. Okay, thank you. Yep. Um, we do have time for superintendent's time as a as an official meeting. Mike, do you have anything you'd like to add? Nothing at this time. Thank you. Any of the board of directors like to raise a hand and have anything they would like to add? All right, thank you all very much for taking time out in the middle of your day. I appreciate it. I know this was an unusual circumstance um, and I appreciate everyone's flexibility and Rose and Brian keeping the district in sound legal footing. Um, I declare this uh, regular session of the regular board meeting of the Hillsborough School District one day, Jay, to be adjourned. Goodbye, everyone.